Fates! Welcome back to another mailbox goodies with moi, Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. I had something in my eye there, sorry, it was kind of like a weird twitch, like... Um, today I have two pens to show you. I just these ones and that's the end of it. Goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there are two pens. Let's do the smaller box first. And then we will do the larger box next. Amazing! So, um, in case you're wondering what exactly Mailbox Goodies is, in case you're new here, it is just stuff that I get in my mailbox or stuff that I bought for myself. But um, in this case, these are review items. So, we will discuss these shortly. These were sent for review and I was not paid to do this. So, anyway, not compensated monetarily. Okay, first thing, we have a sailor, and this is an interesting sailor because I've never seen one in person and I have no idea what it's gonna be like. So this is the sailor, let me make sure I get the name right. Okay, it's the Reglus, Reglus, Re Reglus? I'm thinking Reglus. This is from the pen company in the UK, and so I've seen pictures of them online, but um, I've never actually like held one in person. So this is the pen. It sits on a little bed thing. This pops out. There's a converter and stuff and paperwork in there. Um, this is the pen and it's, as you can see, in a plastic bag, which I must slice open, which I will use my Spyderco bug to do. If I... Maybe not the safest way to do it. Okay. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. This is the Bordeaux that I selected. They have night black, brown, white, black, Bordeaux, and blue. And these go for about $120. Um, I think this is Canadian. 66 pounds. Very interesting. The nib that I requested is a steel fine. So there we have it. That's it. Very intriguing. So kind of different from the usual sailor that I use, which is usually something like the 1911, this is the Fresca version, but um, much slimmer. Very interesting. It is also, I thought it was metal, but I'm, I'm thinking the body is some sort of plastic, but very cute color. So I look forward to rinsing this out and then inking it up. So I guess I could have done that on screen, but I didn't because it's just mailbox goodies and not a preview of the pen. But let's look at that cute little nib again. Okay, can you see the design on there? Let me see how close I can get. That's a pretty cute little design. I love the Sailor Anchor logo a lot. Oh, okay, that was weird. That was, I'm so sorry, that was weird. Anyway, that was the Sailor Reglas from the pen company. So thank you to the pen company for sending that for review. Next up, we have something very intriguing. These have been out for a few months, if not longer. And um, I've, I've been eyeing them because they seem quite interesting. So let me just pull up the product page so I get the right name of the color. Um, this is an Opus 88 Coloro. 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 K-O-L-O-R-O. -O. I know I speak English. I know I'm a native English speaker, but I'm actually not entirely sure. So please don't laugh. It's This is on the fly. So my brain is off, so, sort of. Anyway, this is from Pen Chalet. And just so you know, there's a discount code for Pen Chalet on my website, 10%. No commission, just make you happy. There we go. I, I, um, I actually like this logo, it's very pretty. Okay, so the box is pretty big, so I actually expect... Oh, that's kind of nice. In it! This is, the paper says, an eyedropper system fountain pen. Oh, okay. Mm, that smells... Interesting. Not bad, just interesting. Okay, so the pen. First of all, it does come with a... Oh, it smells like rubber. Let's absorb the rubber smell. It does come with a glass pipette with a little rubber bulb. That's kind of cute. It is an eyedropper pen, so that makes sense. And the pen, this is the, oh, okay. It's the blue, blue finish, so that's not that difficult. These retail for 93 US dollars, but don't forget you can get 10% off. It's cute. I gotta say, I really like the blue, blue. Like, I like this, like, like marine kind of color, you know? Um, 
It has these like rubbery sections and then plastic and then a rubbery knob. It smells like ebon. It's, well, no, it actually smells like like rubber, not ebonite. Like the ebonite pens like that we often use and smell. It Those have like a distinct smell. This is more rubbery smelling. It has, from what I can tell, a number five size nib. It says, oh, hopefully it'll zoom, um, focus. It says Opus 88 engraved on it. It looks like, actually, I don't know if it's like Bach or Jolo, but um, guessing by this feed, I'm thinking Jolo. But anyway, very cute, interesting. So it's an eyedropper filler, so I believe it has a safety shutoff valve. You turn the back. Oh, interesting, because it's not like a filling piston. I think it is a safety shutoff. Quite intriguing, my friends. So I'm just turning all sorts of things just to see what happens. There is an O-ring. There are not that many threads that I would expect for an eyedropper. So there you go. There's like the inside. There's the plunger stopper valve. Oh, oh, did you want a tiny mini pen? Put a drop of ink in there. You got an itty bitty mini pen. That would be hard to write with. Anyway, there we go. Those are the two pens. Very relatively small mailbox goodies today, but interesting because I've never seen or touched or tried either of these pens in my entire lifetime as a pen freak. So here we go. Let's just hold these up so we can see. Amazing! Okay, so thank you to Pen Chalet and to the pen company for sending these goodies for review. I hope you've enjoyed this mini mailbox goodies. If you liked, please like and subscribe. You could find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram as Gourmet Pens. And if you hate this, I am so sorry that you had to suffer for so long all the way till the end instead of clicking on out of here. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Okay, we will see you next time. Bye. Uh, just a quick addition. I also bought stickers at Hallmark because they were on sale for a dollar for four sheets. And they have flamingos and llamas and pineapples and owls and honeycombs, which I love, so I could not resist. Also this one, which is unicorns. Yes, I am a child. <laughs>